I'm Wayne and this is a quick rules video for Rhino Hero. It plays two to five players and it plays in around 15 minutes. Let's go. Rhino Hero. This is a fantastic game to play. Doesn't matter if you're kids or you're adults, it's going to be a brilliant game to play. Very easy setup. We have a starting tile that goes, a starting card really, that goes, lays down flat on the table. It's double sided. So this side has two markings like this. And this side has just the one marking in an arrow that way. Okay, we're going to start with this side for now. Each player gets um, a hand of cards to start the game. In your hand, you will get five of these playing cards if you're playing with anything between three and five players. If it's a two-player game, you need seven of these cards, okay? But let's say it's gonna be a bigger game and we're gonna play with five cards for now. So two, three, four, five of them. The remaining cards are left as a draw pile just next to the setup there. Okay, you take your cards and you can have a look at them. You'll notice they are all different. These are actually called roof tiles, these cards. They are playing cards. They're nice and thick and firm and, um, and they are roof tiles. We'll get to those in a minute. When a player takes their turn, they're going to take some of the building here. These buildings can fold easily and you're going to try and make these shapes on here. So you need to put that at a right angle like this and give it a nice fold and do another right angle like that. To finish your go, you're gonna take one of your roof tiles, your playing cards, and you're gonna add them onto the stack, onto the building that you've just built, and you just lay it on top like this. Okay, and now it's the next player's turn. If you wanna go around clockwise, you can. And, um, and now it's the next player's turn. Normally, uh, the first player in this game is the youngest player. So you could use that if you like. Let's talk about these roof tiles. These roof tiles do have different icons and different things that you can do with them, okay? So with this one, it says two times. Okay, it's shiny, it says two times. If you lay this one down, you can actually lay two roof tiles down in one go. That's beneficial because the aim of the game is to run out of roof tiles, is to run out of cards. The first person to use all of their playing cards wins the game. To lose the game, you can lose the game if you knock the tower down, you automatically lose, and then the winner is decided by whoever has the fewest cards left, the fewest roof tiles left. For now on, I'm gonna call these roof tiles. So this one is a times two, so I could put another roof tile on top of that. And you'll notice this roof tile actually has a little icon of its own, so let's take a look at that. This roof tile says plus one on there, if you can see that, plus one. That means whoever is next in the clockwise direction will need to pick up an additional roof tile from the draw pile. On the next player's turn, they will in turn take two of these and replicate the shapes that are going on there. So you have to put one on here and one on here. This is actually quite tricky to do as you're filming it, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay, and now the next player will take a roof tile from their hand normally, and um, and this one is just a plain one, so there's no extra icons on there. You just place this on and place it on top like this. Okay, simple, really, really easy stuff. Okay, let's go again. So we're going to take two of these, and again, we're going to do this right angle formation on there like this. And you're going to get people come up with all sort of strategies and try and, and try and, and fool you that way. But really, it's a simple game. It's just a dexterity game, and you've got to hope you've got good cards in your hand. Now, I've got some really good cards here to play. The first one I've got is this one. This one has a little um, arrow icon on there. If you can see that, it's purple. If you play this one, you reverse the direction of play. So rather than it being clockwise, now it goes back to the person who's just played. This can be handy um, for, for very strategic reasons. If the person normally clockwise to you is about to win the game, you can reverse the direction in the hope that the other players can then thwart that first player that was going to win. Okay, so you can play that one. You've got these ones. There's lots of these cards in the pack, these roof tiles. And they're, they've got a little rhino um, figure on them and they've got the corner with the rhino on it as well for Super Rhino, Rhino Hero. Okay, let's play one of these. Let's play this one. 
So I'm gonna place that one on top. Now the next player, the next person's turn, they have to fulfill the walls first, just like we did before. This is getting quite high now. But this time, once they've done the walls, they also need to place the rhino on this little icon just here, like that. That person then finishes their go by placing a tile, a roof tile on top from their hand, okay? It really is as simple as that. There's only one more roof tile that I haven't shown you so far. It's this one, it's a take a breather tile. It's got a little blue exclamation on there for take a breather. This means that the person next to you, the next player's turn, they have to lose a turn and skip a turn and it goes to their, it, it goes to the person next to them. Okay, so again, strategically could be a very valuable card to play at the right time. And that is it. You continue to build the tower up. You're going to need to come in and grab the rhino hero and move him higher as the as the tower builds, as more people place rhino hero cards. Um, the player who ends up knocking the tower over loses the game. And then the winner is the person with the fewest roof tiles in their hand. You can get draws in this game if people have got the same amount of roof tiles. They draw. If a person manages to lose, to use sorry, complete all their roof tiles and run out of roof tiles, they win the game as well, even if the tower's not been knocked over. So again, fantastic game. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I hope we covered everything. Let us know um, in the comments if, um, if we've missed anything and play more games. Mm -hmm.